Hi, I'm Andrew, alumni of Team 8417, and this printer here is the Prusa i3 Mark III S+. Plus. This is the number one ranked 3D printer in the world, desktop one, and this is the kit version, which retails for $799. There is a fully assembled version that retails for $1,100 if you would prefer not to build your own. Let's get this open. Box has some handy dandy instructions on where to cut. They have a paper in here with instructions on where to find the assembly guide and a little thank you note, as well as just some information on the Prusa community. There's a huge community around these printers. Uh, tons of people who've gotten them. They always include a bag of Haribo gummy bears with them, 3D printing handbook, user manual for the Prusa i3. Ooh, this is a nice assembly instructions booklet power cable, and this is a complete kit. So everything in this, you have to build yourself. Here's a full roll of film, it looks like. This is a Galaxy Silver PLA, a whole kilogram roll of it. It's probably random color, and we just got the silver. Power supply. The motor kit. This looks like the extrusion and plates for the y-axis. This is all the fasteners, the screws, and that sort of thing. The plastic parts. Uh, the one we got is black. They have two variants, black and orange. All the plastic parts on these 3D printers are 3D printed at their print farm in Prague in the Czech Republic. So that's pretty cool. It's a 3D printed 3D printer. This feels like lead screws maybe it's the frame of the, the printer and that's it for what's in the box so we got everything set out here they say on the website that it should take about six to eight hours to build so i'm gonna go do that it might take me a while and i'll be back with the fully assembled one so I am back with the fully assembled Prusa i3. It took me in total about nine hours to put together. The instruction booklet was very good. Just a lot of stuff to put together. Everything came in clearly labeled. Pretty easy to put together for how complex of a machine it is. And once I put it together, it was pretty easy to set up and get going. It took me 20, 30 minutes to run the calibration and the setup wizard. And I got some pretty sweet prints out of it with just the included roll of PLA. When I was building it, I found that the included tools worked, which is these pliers, the screwdriver, and the full set of hex keys you need. But other tools I found useful when I was building it, a pair of flush cutters, which came with the Ender 3, but you can get a pair off of Prusa's website for just five bucks. So I do recommend that. They help with cutting zip ties and just a couple other little cutting things you need to do. You can cut it with the pliers, but it's a little easier with the flush cutters. I also found that this hex driver from Rev Robotics was useful in putting together some of the things. Everything's metric hardware on here. A lot of M3 screws and nuts, and this helped with tightening them. So I didn't have to do the old hold it with the pliers, tighten it with the hex key. And then there was one step where I found a pair of blunt nose pliers worked a little better than the needle nose that they included. The blunt nose just helped me grip the part a little better. Other than that, the instruction booklet was great. It made everything very clear. They do keep updated versions on the Prusa website. Just scan the QR code on the front here and it'll take you there, which also has comments, which if you're stuck on a step, is very helpful for getting past it. It also came with this little 3D printing handbook, which helps you go over getting the printer set up and running. They run these printers 24 seven in their own factory because about 30% of this 3D printer is actually made from 3D printed parts. See a few of these black parts here are 3D printed this and the knob here, all 3D printed parts made from PETG. So you are paying for that reliability. They test everything thoroughly. You know that everything's going to work, work reliably. Where it comes in a kit, this printer is also open source. So that means that it is very easy to upgrade or fix if something breaks. For example, if maybe one of the 3D printed parts cracks, it's very easy to replace those. And especially if you have a kit and you, and you built it and you learned how the printer works inside and out, it's very easy to fix and troubleshoot when it's not working quite right. 
The open source also includes the, the slicer, which in my opinion is one of the best slicers on the market. It's very easy to use and comes with all the presets you need. So let's go over a few of the features that come with this printer. So it has a heated bed, meaning you can print filaments that require that. So ABS, PETG, ASA, and some other higher temperature, but higher tough filaments. It comes with a direct drive extruder. So it is capable of printing TPEs and TPUs, which are flexible filaments. Those are really cool. It comes with a mesh auto bed leveler. So you don't have to worry too much about the bed being level. It does it automatically at the start of every print. It comes with an easy setup for a Raspberry Pi if you want to run OctoPrint. So if you want to run it over a network, instead of having to use the SD card. It also has a USB port, so you can plug in just a printer cable, plug it into your computer and run it off there. So you don't have to use the SD card to move things back and forth. All in all, this is definitely a printer I would recommend if you have the budget for it. And there are a few upgrades you can get for it to really make it work for your use case. For example, they do sell a closure kit so you can build an enclosure for it if you don't want it to be so open. You can close it and keep it a little bit safer that way. And also the community and the customer service around this printer is top notch. They have an excellent website with community models and contests for designing models. Their customer support is world renowned, excellent. And all in all, it's just one of the best printers you can get for the money if you have the money.